Hey guys, this is Matt and Wes from Mahalo Video Games, and we're going to show you how to unlock Dead Ops Arcade in Call of Duty Black Ops. So you see here, you can actually look around in the menu, and if you press the left and right triggers, you can actually break out of the chair that you're in. And then that lets you sort of walk around and explore the room here. Some pretty cool stuff. There's like an old CB radio and some cool little computer gadgets and such. I think it'd be kind of freaky to wake up in this room, actually. I would have to agree. You see, if you walk around here, eventually uh, you find a little computer console after I'm done looking at the screen here. So you open up the computer console and you actually can type in stuff in this little DOS prompt kind of thing. Uh, so we are going to want to type in is the letters D-O-A for Dead Ops Arcade. And then you go over and hit enter. Uh, I'm not signed in here, so this is just giving me the graphic content warning. And then there you go, boom, Dead Ops Arcade. It's kind of this, uh, like, over-the-top sort of uh, arcade game, uh, like, top-down view, I mean. Uh, it's like Smash TV. Yeah, it definitely looks like something I played as a kid. So yeah, it's very cool. Uh, eventually the game will get going here. Uh, don't worry, uh, you don't actually have to, like, unlock anything else. The game kind of just starts. And uh, there you go. So it's... Just one more way that you can kick some zombie ass in Call of Duty Black Ops. Alright, so... What's going on here? Uh, you got uh, the laser gun here. Um, there's a bunch of cool little power-ups that you can get. Um, and different weapons. Your regular weapon's just kind of this little machine gun that, toward the later stages, doesn't really do much. Um, so blown. it's pretty much like regular zombies then. The guns you start off with you know, aren't actually going to do much good. Exactly. Uh, it's a lot like regular zombies. It's just kind of this little arcade format. So uh, that's round one. Going into round two. Alright. I'm not quite sure what this little thing is. It's like a little bat that follows you around that also shoots stuff. Which is pretty nifty. Yeah, apparently it's a robotic bird, whatever the hell that is. Oh, the teddy bear. And the teddy bear. It gives you this little shield. If anyone ever uh, runs into it, they die, so... Some extra zombie protection. You can see it at the bottom working wonders there. Are those butterflies? Butterflies? No, I don't think so. When you run into somebody, it looks like butterflies came out. Could be. See, just uh, blowing zombies' brains out. That's round two. <laughs> At the end there, the little bird just kind of goes crazy, spinning around in circles. So you move on to a new area. Yeah, and uh, I think I just picked up a chain gun. Just gonna start moving down some rounds here. Yep, Ooh. there you go. Get the mini gun. It shoots through stuff, so you can just like blow them away as they're coming off this bridge. Oh, and the flamethrower! There's the flamethrower. That's my favorite weapon in the game. That you've seen so far. That I've, yeah. Well. Oh man, there's nothing better than the smell of cooked zombie in the morning. Is that a grenade launcher? That it is. Mmm. Eat it. The graphics for this are actually pretty good for a mini game like this. Yeah, it's, you know, Treyarch really did an amazing job. People were really worried that this was just kind of going to be a Modern Warfare 2 mod, and uh, they've really made it its own game. I have to give it to them. Yeah, it, it's actually turned out really great. From what I've played of the multiplayer, it's just amazing. Yeah, so going into Zone 4 here, I got a little speed boost. And there, there really, there's a lot of similarities between this and the regular zombie mode, other than, of course, the fact that this is more of an arcade game, and the weapons are different, but... A lot of similar power-ups, and, uh, like the speed boost and the extra health you can actually get later. You also notice, uh, up in the top left, you have some bombs that you can drop, and there's also, uh, a teleporter if you ever get surrounded. You have two teleports that you can use to get yourself out of some sticky situations. That would definitely be very useful. So now I'm entering the next zone here. Go through this teleporter.
Over there you see uh, RPG. Which you can actually kind of fire rapid fire. Huh. Jesus. <laughs> That's a lot of rockets. Yes it is. Wow, these zombies are just absolutely being demolished. Oh. And then this t this power up is particularly awesome. You can turn into a tank, and uh, you can actually run the zombies over. I prefer to shoot them with a bazooka because then they explode. No, now is this a big zombie? It's a boss. See, I thought this was a boss the first time I played it, but he just kind of runs away. Not much happens with him. Uh, I'm uh, assuming you fight him later on if you make it that far. So here I elect to try to go after him. Uh, I don't think that in this stage, though, he's actually present. So you can pick up uh, more bombs there. And so that's the exact same symbol from the actual first-person zombie mode that blows up all the zombies that are around. Yeah, and they both do the same exact thing. Picking up a chain gun again. Uh, just mowing them down. This is just absolute destruction. Yeah. It really, it's it's really great kind of nostalgic game. Really harkens back to those old sort of uh, Sega Genesis games that were a lot similar to this. I forget what uh, title I'm thinking of, but I'm sure one of our viewers can comment and remind me. Oh, absolutely. There's got to be somebody out there that remembers the old game. <coughs> there was me just testing out the bomb. I wasn't sure what button did what, so... It's actually the left trigger, I believe, does the bomb, and then the right one's going to do uh, the teleport. And you actually shoot with the right stick, isn't it? Isn't that yeah, right? yeah, you uh, you move around using the left stick, and then you aim using the right stick. You just hold it in whatever direction you want to shoot. Now, one thing you're going to want to remember is don't run next to these electric poles when they're all electrified. I, uh make that mistake pretty soon here. Ooh! Blowing up a bunch of zombies with that bomb there. Teddy bear and what gun? Oh no, I just activated a uh, turret there. Oh, okay, that's great. Yeah. Me, myself, I just have the regular machine gun. Yeah, see? Butterflies. Yeah, when you hit them with the teddy bear, butterflies fly out. That's so nice. Oh. Yeah, don't run next to that electric pole, or that will happen. You just lose a bunch of points? Uh, no, you uh, you lose a life. I think you have three lives in this. Okay. Moving on to the next area. Pretty Ins similar here, it's just another courtyard. This one's just a little more dramatic with the rain and how dark it is. Yeah. I think um, I demonstrate the teleport on this round, I'm not sure. So, using that grenade launcher. This game just looks like classic fun. There you go. Oh. There's the teleport. I was kind of getting surrounded there. It's just looking a little dire right now. If you uh, if you bunch them up, a lot of times you can kind of get them to follow you around the map, and then that kind of helps out. Oh wow! You see, I got surrounded there. Only got one life left. So it's one hit, and then you die. Um, it looks like you have a health bar up in the top left corner, but um, if you get surrounded, you're gonna die pretty quick. So now we get a bonus stage, this is called Jailbreak here in this little prison yard. Prison break, sorry. Now what is that? I'm not quite sure what that power up is. I gotta believe that you can lead the zombies into those electric posts, they, you know, they gotta be there for a reason other than just electrocuting you. Right, you got another auto turret there. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like the zombies keep running into the electric fences. Which is pretty sweet. And you got a, I got this little shield going around me that's uh, keeping them off. 
They can still slip through though, so don't get uh, too cocky with the shield. Another laser gun. And it looks like the ray gun actually bounces in this mode. Yeah, uh, yeah, it bounces off all the walls. Uh, they got you on that one. Yeah, they got me, and that's going to be game over. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been uh, Dead Ops Arcade. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, unlock it yourself and try it out. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, see you later, guys.